Rishi Sunak and his wife's huge personal wealth of £651 million pounds <laughs> has seen them leapfrog the king in the rankings of Britain's richest. So the question this morning is, is he too rich to be Prime Minister? Well, Alex Phillips from Reform UK says wealth should not be an assessment of how someone can do the job. Broadcaster Benjamin Butterworth says Rishi can't relate and his riches are a problem. Alex, why is he wrong? Uh, because the man's not a social worker, he's the Prime Minister. <laughs> he's there to manage the country, not go around being a bleeding heart. But Rishi Sunak actually came from an aspirational middle-class background, quite a humble background. He used to be a waiter in a curry house. He worked at his parents' pharmacy. He then happened to marry the woman he loved, was very successful at business, so that isn't a precursor to then not being a good Prime Minister. The fact that he isn't one is a different issue altogether. It's not due to what's in his bank See, I think that's a really good point, which I was going to make to you, actually. He's got a basic a middle class, even lower middle class upbringing. Oh, uh, come so off it. His, he's, his he's dad not... was a GP and his mum worked in a pharmacy. Which, which are great jobs, but I think the point that matters well, come is... off what, then? What he mean? went to Winchester, which is a very a expensive school, but he has an experience of life of only being around extreme wealth. There's a video of him as a teenager where he says, I have friends of all backgrounds, including working class, and then he goes, well, not working class. How can you have somebody who is in a job where the central tenet of it is to help working people People who's never known normal working life. No, the so the for ten of his job is to do things like manage the economy, determine mm. foreign affairs, look at the big issues. Like I said, he's not going around working in soup kitchens. Winston well, Churchill you know was born in Blenheim Palace and mm. ended up being one of our greatest prime ministers. But the thing that Winston Churchill had was he was a wartime leader. He was in the same boat as the British people at a time of hardship. He was drinking champagne when, for breakfast, but when other people were hiding from Do you know what, bombs? Alex? When, when the war ended, they got rid of Churchill because he didn't understand their struggles. Mm. And that is the problem with Sunak. You've got people who can't put the electricity on, who can't well, afford on. food. You say yeah. that, you Meanwhile, say you've that. got a bloke but that's Rishi made 10 Sunak, million quid a month. One of the reasons I think Rishi Sunak is a useless Prime Minister is nothing to do with his wealth. It's actually the fact I think he gave way too many handouts during Covid, which mm. has completely destroyed the economy. This is the guy who basically printed money, scattered it around the population like confetti, made furlough last a lot longer than it should have done. The Eat Out to Help Out scheme. I mean, we're now having to pay that I mean, price. Like how 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 rich is not too rich? I mean, at what point do you draw yeah. the line and say, above you know that what? line, you can't be Prime Minister, below that line, you can? It's not that I'd put it like that. What I'd say is well, that if, to put it somewhere. if you have someone like Alan Sugar, for example, mm. who comes from a tough background but has earned the money, he knows what it's like to not be able to pay a bill, to not afford your rent or your mortgage, which is what most people face. Mm. And the thing so about you have Sunak, to have struggled before you're an MP. I think that's a qualification for being a good prime minister. The reason Sunak is struggling, and the polls overwhelmingly show this, is they don't believe he understands the struggles that they're oh, facing. Well, and Johnson very, was... very few people yeah. in society have never. Boris, known yeah, that Boris Johnson polled really well. With the Red Wall, this is a man mm. called Alexander Boris de Feffel Johnson. Well, hang on, you know, hang on. We know Boris struggled with his bill. He, he couldn't even cheese. pay his tax bill as Prime Minister. But are you saying no, that somebody who's had a... Nobody shot at BNN bargains. <laughs> So, so you're saying that somebody who basically has had a comfortable upbringing, a comfortable lifestyle, simply can't be Prime Minister? I think it makes it much more difficult for understanding what people are going. But this Rishi, hang on, Harry let me just make this point, Sunton. Alex. In, in Rishi Sunak's case, we, I think most people think we have a system that is benefiting the super-rich very nicely while most mm. people are getting poorer than they were mm. ten years ago. Alex, and I imagine lots of system. people didn't get a pay rise during a period of high inflation, cost of living really crunched, well, you know, actually, and his fortune, £651 million. Well, his, him and his wife, he married mm. into that. Lucky him, if I should be so lucky. Well, um, then we must yeah. leave it. Is Rishi Sunak too rich to be Prime Minister? More than three quarters of you think yes. General mm. election coming up soon.